Three, two, one. Hi again, U.S. history students. It's Mr. Deegan. I'm back in the VidNote zone reporting live. It is time for 9-5. Let's write our learning target. First, I will understand how minority Americans participated in World War II. Minority Americans who participated included the Tuskegee Airmen, African-American pilots, and Nisei troops, Japanese Americans who fought for America against the Nazis and Japan. More now. Summary. Women worked in previously male job roles during World War II. African-Americans struggled to obtain desegregation of the armed forces and to end discriminatory hiring practices. So here you see women using a riveting gun during World War II, and these women were symbolized with this poster, Rosie the Riveter. And here you see an African-American soldier. They were still segregated units, but they were allowed to fight in World War II. Minority participation. African Americans usually served in segregated military units during World War II. They were assigned to non-combat roles. However, many demanded the right to serve in combat. And here you see an African American soldier with surrendering Nazis in Germany. Eventually, they do win the right to fight because they are good. The Tuskegee Airmen, part one. The Tuskegee Airmen were the first black soldiers in the U.S. to serve as military pilots. This group of 996 pilots flew with distinction during World War II and were involved in many bombing missions. Here you see a group of those Tuskegee Airmen, and here you see a cartoon showing how the airmen are being allowed to fly and serve. Tuskegee Airmen Part 2, the highly publicized successes of the Tuskegee Airmen helped pave the way for the racial integration of the U.S. Armed Forces under President Harry Truman in 1948. And here you see the Tuskegee Airmen listening to orders. You see one of the airmen with his airplane, and here you see a poster telling people, give money to the war so that these airmen can keep flying because they're good at their job. Nisei regiments, Nisei, Japanese American U.S. Army regiments called Nisei regiments were discriminated against because Americans thought their Japanese heritage meant they were part of the enemy. However, they were born in the U.S. before the attack on Pearl Harbor, these soldiers earned a high number of decorations and awards for the U.S. side. Native Americans help out. During World War II, the U.S. Army used the language of the Navajo Indians in its communication codes. This was done because the Navajo codes were impossible for the Japanese military to understand. The Navajo had no written language, so the Japanese could not learn this language. And here you see pictures of Navajo code talkers. Mexican-American aid. During World War II, Mexican-Americans fought in non-segregated units. And here you see some Mexican-American soldiers, and you see a poster talking unity. Minorities in World War II. During World War II, Mexican-Americans, African-Americans, Japanese-Americans, and Native Americans all suffered high casualties and won many awards and individual medals for bravery in action. They contributed greatly to an allied victory. United we win. Summary questions. You have two questions. Think of two you would like to write down. 
write them down. Don't forget the 9-5 Canvas quiz that is awaiting you on your Canvas site. And when you're done with that, you are done with 9-5. This is Mr. Deegan from the VidNote Zone signing off.